Today guys, as you can see, I'm at a graveyard. Um, it's a really good graveyard to be honest with you. There's actually a person here, um, very special, um, called John Fielding, who's just buried over there, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, here's a, to conduct the spirit box as usual, and um, I've got my K2 meter over me as well. Uh, you, you will hear a lot of traffic in the background in this one, because I'm right by main road. Um, but however, we've got the graveyard to ourselves. Um, I'm going to take a look around the graveyard first, and then I'll come right back and I'll show you the main grave of uh, John Fielding and I'll explain a little bit about his background and um, yeah let's get going so this is actually the Lantanum Church it's called St Michael's Church here in Lantanum South Wales um, I'll explain a bit more about John Fielding later and what he was all about this here is the main church and this just creeps me out look at that kind of kicks me out now this is actually the second cemetery I've ever visited um, the first one as you will know was a uh, was um, the Terefin one. Well, the light just came on. It creeped me out. <laughs> creeped me out. Uh. Yeah, well, um, basically, the first one I ever visited uh, was the um, the one in Terefin. Um, the one where we, you know, had that scary face that um, Jarek King noticed. Um, basically, it was that face on the tree. That was the first century I visited. I went there a total of um, four times um, and I made five parts. Uh, as you know, um, I say the best one was probably the best two. Part one when you got the statue, and uh, probably um, part four when you saw that face. Um, certainly very creepy indeed. That? that just creeps me out. That just creeps me out. Oh, whoa, that creeped me out even more. Whoa, I wasn't expecting to see that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that creeped me out even more. I'm not expecting the light to come on. Oh, there's even more of it up here. Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to explain to any um, souls who uh, think I am trespassing. Um, I'm not. Um, the church is always open for people to come on and for any people for any spirits who think i'm here to disturb them i'm absolutely not um i'm here out of all due respect just to communicate with any of your spirits um if you don't want to communicate with me that is fine um you will not be forced to i will not attempt to force you to um i would step over there but there's looks like there's graves on the floor as you can see i don't want to be stepping on graves that that, that would just be disrespectful so uh, don't want to be doing that if i can help it Another door. Yeah, well, it's a nice little church. I mean, let's go and get onto the John Fielding part because that's the main topic of the video, and I've also been a little bit about John Fielding as well. Let's have a look at this bit first. I like keeps creeping me out. Oh wow! Yeah, well, let's go and get into the John Fielding part. That's the main bit we're actually here for, with the John Fielding part. Um, you know, the bit I want to see. Um, now, John Fielding, he was actually quite a special man, and that's why he's uh, got a pretty special grave down there. Um, he's, if he's aware I'm talking about him, then he should know why I'm here. Um, let's go and get into it. I'm putting the count the floors, I don't see any graves. Right, that's it right there.
Now, the reason I am recording this Name of the Grave specific is because he is the main topic I'm reason... Um, the main topic I'm... Re I can't even speak today. Um, he is the main topic I'm here for. Um, John Fielden. Um, obviously, I'm here to communicate with all, with all the spirits. Um, oh, wow. I wrote it all down. It says it all on the grave anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, right, okay. Warm up my hand a bit. Oh, that right man hand. I'll warm up this hand in my pocket, then I'll switch my phone over to that hand when this hand gets warm. And I'll start filming that bit. Oh, because this hand is freezing. It's really cold out today, guys. I would have my hood up right now if it was, uh, oh, if I could. But I don't want to be disrespectful on the video. Ooh. Okay. Okay, right. So this here is John Fielding's grave. Um in memory of John Fielding, who has 1395 Private John Williams, that was his um, birth name there, John Williams. B Company, 2nd BN, 24th Regiment. Was awarded the Victoria Cross following the defence of Vaux Drift, 22nd slash 23rd of January, 1879, during the Zulu War. He died 25th of November, 1932, aged 75, at least we forget. Now that there, just explains it, this, this is a man who you know, defended in um, the Zulu War. Let me explain about that. About Rorke's Drift. It was, um, something with... It was a bunch of fighting, it was a... Uh, I'm actually going to read more about it right now as I speak, because I still don't understand the full bit of it, so I'm actually going to read more of it um, while we speak. Oh, my hand is absolutely freezing. I cannot wait for my taxi back. As you know guys, I was coming here in all winds and weathers to record for you guys, as you may know. N no weather stops me from coming out here. Okay. It's Ulu Wars. Let's see what it was actually all about, because I don't even understand this myself. I've had people explain it to me so many times, but I still can't understand it. It's Ulu Wars. Okay. No offence to you, John. John Fulton. Um, the Angelo Zulu War was fought between 1879 between the British Empire and the Zulu Kingdom following the Constitution Act of 1867 for the Federation in Canada by Lord Carnarvon. It was thought that similar. Let's uh, go on to Wikipedia. If you all know. I need to read more of it. Really cold right now. Really cold right now. I'm, I'm freezing. Oh. Similar political effort. Coupled with military campaigns, might succeed with the African Kingdom's tribal areas and Buhari republics in South Africa. In 1874, Sir Sir Bartle Frey was sent to Africa, South Africa as High Commissioner for the British Empire to effect such plans. Among the obstacles, obstacles were the armed independent states of the South African Republic and the Kingdom's Zululand. Okay, now this hand has gone really numb, I'm going to switch again. <sighs> okay, so it will give you a bit of a backstory about this really. Um, if you still want to know more about it, go on there, search up Sulu Wars. If you want to read more about who this specific person is, John Fielding, go search up about John Fielding. But anyway, the reason, the reason we are here today is to um, conduct an investigation about John Fielding here and uh, to see more about it. Because, to be honest, you know, I've, I've read about this guy before, and he is such a legend, he is such a legend, and to be honest, you know, I will say that right now. Um, because, um... What's that? Oh, wow. Um, it's such a legend, um, and... That street light came on and scared the heck out of me just then. Um, well, he's a legend because there's a, there's a pub also down here in Cambran, um, called the John Field Inn, and that is actually named after him. After this guy right there. You know, and, and as you can see there, if you look right down, you can see a, a cross there with a poppy on it right there. Um, let's, is that a word? What's it say? What does it say? You can see a word on it. I want to see what it says. It says... 
in remembrance, in remembrance. As you can see, you see the poppy there. So, you know. So he's walking. Anyway, um, yeah, well, that's more it is. Um, so, you know, to me, it's, 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 it's really, it's really, really good at this grave. But I'm not here to just, um, you know, talk me through. I want to try and get the spirit box out, try and get the K2 meter out, which is what I actually bought with me the other day. As I always do, my hands are freezing, guys. I'm about to end filming for 10 minutes and come, come back. Oh, my. No, I can't. Let's just go on with it. God, a god's actually picked me up, but 20 past, can't afford to waste time. <laughs> Oh, oh, I handed my sleeve a bit. Okay, okay, I handed my sleeve. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait two minutes. Oh. Yeah, you know, let's just get it out. Okay, let's, let's get the kid to meet her out while I'm waiting for my hand to cool down a bit. Oh, got my hand moving. I should have bought gloves. Really thick gloves. Oh, I should have done. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's okay. My hands are so cold, I can't even open my bag right now. Come on, get open. There we go. Come on. Bought this, I won't need it because I got a flashlight on my camera if it does get dark, so I won't need it, but I bought it just in case my phone decides to play tricks on me. Um, anyway, let's get it out. My good two meter. Let's go. Now, I want to use this first, because this, because I want to see if John Fielding can connect energy to this K2 meter right here. I really want to do see this. Okay, I'm going to stand back so my phone doesn't pick it up. Okay. John Fielding here. John Fielding in, in specific, any other spirits, um, I, I'll get through to you later, later on. I want to try and communicate with John Fielding right now, so I'm going to be putting this K2 meter here, right next to his grave, but I'm going to place it gently on his grave. Um, and if you can set it off, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, as you can see, it comes on. If I go near the phone, it comes on again. So I'm going to put it over here on his grave. Like that, okay? Very, very gently, okay? Very gently. John Fielding. If you know I'm communicating with you right now, can you make that K2 meter spike? Can you do that for me? Can you can you make it spike for me? Can you make it spike just a bit? If you know I'm communicating with you right now, can you make that K2 meter spike? Okay, John Fielding, if you were there, can you make that K2 meter spike? I don't mean any disrespect by this, John Fielding, but I'm here to conduct an investigation. I'm not here to um, upset you in any way, and I do apologize if me putting that K2 meter on your grave has upset you, so I'm going to actually remove that. I put it next to your grave, by here, by there, okay? So I do apologise for putting it on your grave, maybe you didn't like that, I don't know. Um, but I put it on the, on the side of the grave, because I want to try and show you that I'm not here to harm you in any way or to upset you, I'm, I'm purely here to communicate with you, and my viewers would like that. It's a, this is a documentary being made for YouTube, to show my viewers spirits and paranormal, and I go around all sorts of places capturing that sort of stuff, and I want to try and communicate with you here today. I would really appreciate it if you could communicate back with me by spiking that K2 meter. Can you do that? Could you please show them that you're here? Please? What was that?
I understand if you don't want to spike it, okay. I'm going to take it away, maybe um, you didn't like that one, okay. Now, I'll put it down by here. I'll put it down by there. What was that? Was that a spike? No, no, it got to be close to my phone, look. Got to be close to my phone. It was over there and it spiked. It was over there and it spiked. This is actually going to be very close to my phone to spike, as you can see. This spiked when it was that far away. That is very mad. Why is it spiking over there? That's my one question. What was that then? Is it because I'm touching it? The spirit is here. Can you spike that for me? The spirit is here with me today. Can you spike that for me? So why was that happening just then? Is it because I'm touching it? No, it's not because I'm touching it. See, it happened again. See, it's not. It's not because I'm touching it. I'm touching it now. See, why is it only doing it when I put it right there? That's mad. That's mad. I don't know. I don't know. It could, it could be done touching it. It could also be not because I'm touching it. I don't know. Um, doesn't seem like it because look, I'm touching it. Right? See, I'm, I'm touching it now. See, it's uh, not spiking. But I put it down to the ground by here. And now it doesn't spike. See? Right, I reckon that was a bit of activity caught on camera then. I think. Oh, my eyes gone really blurry. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. My hands are still freezing, guys. Come on. Ah, oh, my hands have gone numb. Guys, you don't, you don't understand how cold it is here today. You really don't. Ah, oh, my hands have gone so numb. Oh, wow. Wow. This is crazy. I'm not, my hands have not been this cold before. Oh, come on. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, that's the, oh, the pub right there. Is that a haunted pub, by the way, guys? Well, it could be, actually, it's right next to a cemetery. But, uh, no, I don't think there's any, been any stories about this pub. So, no, I don't think there has. Um, I don't think it's a small cemetery, but any, any cemetery can have activity. As we just saw then, I reckon that was a bit of activity. I don't reckon it was because I was touching it, because I, when I tried demonstrating the second time about me touching it, it didn't go off at all, which shows that it's probably because Spirit was setting it off. But anyway, by the way, John Fielding doesn't want to communicate through that, so... I'm mean, going to respect that opinion. He doesn't want to communicate through it. He doesn't want to communicate through it. However, uh, I do think that spirit there, or some other spirits here, have just communicated with that K2 meter. Oh. Oh, how cold it is! Ow! Oh. I heard the birds singing. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to wait two minutes until the 20 minute mark, and I'm going to get my spirit box out and see if I can actually try and commit some some sort of communication with these spirits. Um, trying to speak to John, to John, well, I'm gonna call you John Williams, is that was your birth name? Um, I don't know, I'll call you John Fielding, um, because it is the main name in your grave. I'll call you John Fielding, um, or John Williams, whatever you prefer to be called, I'll ask you on the spirit box anyway, but until then, I'll call you John Fielding. Um, but you, if you want to be called John Williams, you make sure you, you, you mention that on the, on the spirit box, and you make sure you do tell me John Williams. I keep hearing stuff behind me, like from over here. I, I, I keep looking behind me all the time. What is it? Strange. Very strange. It has gone more darker now than what it was when I first started. Let's just say that. Oh. I can't wait to just get home and. Uh... Yeah, I'm recording this on a Friday, by the, by the way. It's the very same Friday where the um, last part of the Scary End releases. So tonight is a very huge day for me, you know, that was a very huge series to record. I'm happy to uh, be releasing the last one tonight for you guys. It's very important to be releasing that. Oh, wait until then, my hands are still cold. Oh my, oh, come on, come on. I don't know what to do.
Comment below, guys, if you, if you are a ghost hunter, only if you're a ghost hunter, comment below what was the most scariest location you've ever been to. Um, if it's in Wales, or in the UK anyway, I'll be sure to write it to my list of uh, future investigations. Because um, I mean it, guys, you know, after lockdown, guys, you know, I want to go further, I want to travel more, and I am saving up for it. I am saving, I'm actually saving £40 a month out of my actual work money into this to make sure I have enough for my travel expenses, enough for everything, guys. I want to make sure I'm going around travelling around the UK, I want to make sure I'm getting all these locations in. And at the moment, I've already saved 150 just for my ghost hunting expenses to last me until until April, um, which, will, which will last me. Um, I've got some great locations lined up, some great historic places lined up and all that. Um, but anyway, guys, let's just break the spirit box out because you're all getting bored now of me talking. So let's just break it out. Um, I did say I would break it out at 20 minutes and it's actually 21 minutes, so let's break it out. Okay. Um, I am going to try my best to get James back in these investigations, but until lockdown ends, it's looking very unclear. Oh, really cold, really cold. Okay. What I'm going to do, Mr. Fielden, okay, I'm going to put this in here a minute. I'm going to put this back in my bag. I might not need the K2 meter again. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put my bag then. Next to your grave, right here, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. See you guys, let me show you. Put, put my bag then, right next to that. Um, my phone fell out of my pocket. I did not put it out there. My phone fell out or somebody took it out. I'm gonna say it fell out. Okay, right, let's make sure the volume's all the way up. Okay. <sighs> yep. To any spirits I am communicating with today, I want to let you know that you have no right to harm yourself. Harm yourself. I can't speak today, guys. I, I really am sorry, guys. I just can't speak. You have no right to harm me or, or attach yourself to any of my equipment whatsoever. Absolutely. You what? You don't, you don't harm me, you don't attach yourself to any of my equipment. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yeah, okay, good. But I want to make that clear, because it's really important when I'm doing a ghost investigation that you don't that you don't try and attach yourself to me or any of my equipment whatsoever, because if you do do that, you're just going to make pe people angry, aren't you? Um, so, you know, we don't want to be going down that path. You know, we, I'm only here to communicate with you peacefully. And to any other spirits here, I want to communicate with you peacefully. You know, it's all I come here to do. It's, it's what I um, travel around to do. I, I, I like to communicate with spirits peacefully and not um, cause any harm whatsoever. So as long as that is understood, let's get straight into the investigation. Okay. John Fielding, are you there? John Fielding, it would be an absolute privilege if you can speak to me right now. John Fielding, are you there? John Fielding, are you there? Guys, you know what I was saying? Can you write it down in the comments, please? Did you, did you say John? Did you? Yeah, so, okay, 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 okay. Are you John communicating, or are you... Are you John communicating with me now, or are you a different spirit? Are, are you John, yes or no? No? Was, was that a no? Well, can I ask you your name, then? What is your name? Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Guys, that, that was a very clear Wayne. Very clear whatsoever, guys. You definitely heard that. That was definitely a very, very clear Wayne that came out of there. I think it was a Wayne anyway. Um, I'm still really cold right now, guys. I really am. <sighs> okay, I'm going to shut my flashlight on. Because it is starting to get a little bit of my flashlight on. Yeah. I shut that on, guys, because it is starting to get a little bit dark. And you might not be able to see me clearly. I want to make that clear. 
really cold right now. Really cold. Ah. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that back down a minute. And just um, I'm not ignoring you spirits. Ah. Guys, I'm really sorry about, about this today, guys. I didn't I didn't know it was gonna be this cold. I wouldn't come out if I knew it was. Like I mean, it's that cold. My hands are like feel like they're actually cutting me on the inside. It's that cold. <sighs> Why did you just say yes, may I ask? What's going on? They're speaking amongst themselves. What's going on? Come in. Come in where? Go where? John Fielding, are you there? Yes! Guys, you hear that? That was very clear. Yes, John Fielding is here. Good, good, good. Thank you, John Fielding, for communicating with me. Thank you very much. That is really good. I am uh, applaud you for that. Absolutely amazing. I'm glad you're here. Uh, um, John Fielding, do you mind if I can communicate? Okay, I'm waiting for this car to go past. John Fielding, do, do you mind if I communicate with you right now? John, can I communicate with, with you? Okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, you know, I, I truly appreciate that. John Fielding, you know, if you can get a bit of a... A bit of a thing here. Um, just to make sure... Okay, my hands are gone back. Okay. My hands, it's my hands, my hands. Oh, my hands. Okay, okay, my hands are gone really cold. Okay, I should have bought gloves. Very, very warm gloves. Oh. It's gone extremely dark since I started this, guys. It really has. I don't expect the weather, to, um, the weather, the, the the brightness and the darkness to just switch that fast. Okay. Can you guess my name? Do you know my name? God? Did, did you say God? What was that? What was that? I thought, I thought I heard something, I thought I heard something, I thought I heard something. Okay, 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 okay. Why... Can I ask you a question very fastly? Why do you keep saying Wayne? Who's Wayne? Who's Wayne? Guys, who's Wayne? Okay, Wayne, do you want to communicate with me? Breathe? Breathe? Right, I'm going to start for. Is it a Wayne grave near here? Okay, guys, I'm just shining this down to see if I can find a Wayne. Because somebody keeps saying Wayne, I want to know exactly who Wayne is. I'm going to try and communicate with him. Because this Wayne clearly wants to communicate with me. Wayne, do you mind guiding me in the direction of your grave, please? Dad? Is Wayne your dad? Well, I found a William, but is that a Wayne? Are they saying William or Wayne? Let me double check. Are you saying William or Wayne? Let me ask you one more time. Are you saying William or are you saying Wayne? Wayne. Guys, there's got to be a Wayne right here somewhere, right? It really has. Guys, it's, it's kind of too dark to find this grave Wayne. 
I'm going to point at a grave and ask, is it Wayne? Actually, no, no, I can't because my viewers won't see. Um, Jared God? What's these comments supposed to mean? Do you mind telling me? I don't understand. What are they supposed to mean? Do, do, you, want, do you want to tell me where it is? No? Yes? Do you want to tell me where it is? Okay, am I standing near his grave? Yes. I keep saying my name, I keep saying Wayne, I keep saying Jared, I can't understand what's going on here. It's a Wayne here somewhere, guys, I'm telling you, it is a Wayne here somewhere. Wayne again, so you know what I mean? Ian? Who's Ian? Yeah, I think I've got so many coming with me, I don't even know where I'm going. Gail? Come on. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the phone down a bit, my hands are getting cold again. Guys, I can't understand this. Hold on, let me just warm up my hand in my, my one pocket. Okay. I keep I keep hearing um I keep hearing Wayne and I don't know where this Wayne character is supposed to be. I mean I've I've looked for it. Trust me, I I I have looked for it guys and I I've been um looking at that grave. Instead I'm standing Boy, it screams then. That's how strange I'm going right now, looking for this grave. I didn't hear screams, I thought I did. It was actually a car started, I think. Oh, it's a dog, it's a dog, that's why, it's a dog. Um, anyway, I'm... They're still speaking amongst their sauce. Um, I can't figure out where this grave that they're on about is. I really can't. Oh my. My hands are gone freezing cold, guys. I really don't know what else to do right now. Oh. So guys, um, they keep saying Wayne. Like, I, I, I don't know where this grave is supposed to be. It's the thing. Um, I mean, I looked uh, for it. Uh, I'm not gonna go and check every grave to see where it is because I'd be here all all night. Otherwise, I'd be here until midnight when it's very dark. No cars going past. And I'd be likely to get attacked by some boys anyway. So you know, that's that's what I mean. If I tried looking for it all night, I'd be, that's that's what would happen. I'd be here all night. You know. However, guys, there is a Wayne who wants to communicate with me, so I want to go and find out why why that is before I end this video, guys. I want to see who this Wayne character is. I know I come here to communicate with John Fielding, but uh, I think he's only communicated once or twice, and I want to try and see who this Wayne character is. Um, you know, it certainly is quite... Uh, it certainly is quite um, interesting to know why he wants to communicate with me. Um, but there is a Wayne here somewhere, guys. It's got to be. Um, you know, the way he wants to communicate like that. He must, you know, he, he must really, really be interested in speaking with me. So, you know, like there must be a reason behind that. Absolutely, guys. My hands are gone really cold right now, guys. My hands, oh my, my hands are freezing. It feels like I'm cutting them on the inside. Oh, so. Help, help who? Help who? Help Mammy? Or Manny? Or man or Nanny, what? John Fielding, are you there? John Fielding, are you there? John Fielding, can I speak with you? What? No. No. That, I did not hear that. Wayne, do you want to guide me in the direction of your grave? I'm going to stand here. Okay? 
You're going to say left or you're going to say right. I tried this at the graveyard before and it did work a bit until the man showed me. So I'm going to ask again at this graveyard to find your grave, okay? Because I know there's a wainia somewhere. I want to find it before this video runs out of time. Okay, um, is it on? Okay, I'm going to stand here um, on the path. Right, guys, there's the gate right here. I'm going to stand by this gate. Tell me now, do I go left or do I go right? Do I go left or right? L left. Okay. So, so just to confirm, have I got to go left? Okay. Don't bite. Okay. Do I go... Do I carry on forward? Or do I go right? Or what? Forward or right? Left. Left. I can't find the grave you're talking about, I'm sorry to say. I can't find the grave they're on about. I can't find the grave they're talking about, guys. I, I'm really confused. I swear they keep saying left. They keep saying left. But the thing is, guys, they haven't told me where to. I, I can't just go checking everywhere because I'll be there all night. I'm gonna do it. Put this hand in my pocket because this hand needs really, really good warming. Ow! They keep saying Wayne, guys. I, I just, I just don't know why. Who's this Wayne character? Really cold. I don't know about the guys, but it's really cold. Trying to like, warm up my hand a bit. Ow. Do you want to repeat? Where's who? Daryl? I saw a Daryl somewhere. I saw a Daryl somewhere. Did you say where's Daryl? I think it was Daryl or Diane. I'm not, I'm not going to go and show you that grave because it'll just be. Uh, completely unnecessary because um, that's the first time I've ever heard Daryl or Diane or something like that um, but I do know that they keep saying Wayne they've been saying Wayne since almost the start of this work box but I can't find the, the Wayne grave I'm, I'm not going to go looking for it all, all night guys i got a taxi cut coming now for me in just uh, 10 minutes so we'll go back um, so yeah guys you know it's been an you know, awesome investigation with you guys so I'm going to end this work box now um, I did try to communicate with John Fielding to all your spirits, thank you for communicating with me. If you did, I want to say a very huge thank you and bye. 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 Oh. Yeah, guys, you know, it's a very cool investigation indeed, guys. You know, it's, it's definitely a lot a lot to say about, about this investigation. And, uh, you know, you know, but great investigation, guys. Absolutely great investigation all around. Um, it was very nice to communicate with the spirits who did communicate with me. It's gone absolutely dark since I started this. I can't even see and in anymore but uh oh, wow. awesome investigation thank you all for watching as always guys on and before i end it there we go um here goes before my taxi comes i'll keep talking like i always do trying uh oh, i want to quickly say um 
Thank you all for watching. It's been an honour to make this one for you. Um, no, it certainly was quite a special investigation indeed, guys. It, you know, um, I'll close the gate back up so nobody thinks it's just a walk-in gate. Um, ah, my hand! Yeah, guys, um, absolutely brilliant investigation. It's been very good filming this. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for, sh for showing some love and support. Remember, if you can do, smash the like button. But if you want to smash that dislike button, go ahead, because I always like a truthful opinion on the investigations. You know, I like to know where everybody found it good. But if you smash the dislike button, please tell me in the comments how I can improve. I'm always happy to hear it, guys. Always am. So make sure you always do tell me that. Thank you. Not them.